Now here we have in front of us one Zitagi BV603 400 watt valve mains 27 megs amplifier which is coming to me for repair. Now it would appear the owner of this amplifier has been cooking it a little bit. You can see the free EL509 stroke EL519 sweep tubes down there. I've tested all of them individually and they're all working okay. Judging by their construction I'd say they're probably made by Svetlana in St Petersburg in Russia as they have the typical Russian construction about them. Although they are marked up, uh, one has the ZG marking on it and the others don't. But they're definitely Svetlana tubes by the look of it. There's the big old chunky transformer producing about eight, 900 volts for the high tension caps on the end of the tubes there. Now, two things wrong with this amp when it came into me. One, there was a dry joint. There is a small coax cable can't really see it very well but it's down there between the tubes which comes from the main board at the back here and it feeds to this other board here where you can see these coils and capacitors for the input on the high tension of these tubes and the coax cable had got so hot the amplifier has been subjected to so much heat the solder had melted and the actual inner part of the cable had fell off the board also there is a small board down there with a big inductor coil on it it's got three screws holding it in with three insulating washing collar, washer collars. Unfortunately, one of those are completely melted, causing a major short on the board. Every time this amplifier was operated in TX mode, there was a massive arc between negative and positive. Remember, we're talking eight, nine hundred thousand volts on the HT of these caps on the tubes, and we were getting a rather nice firework display and a lot of smoke. However, I've stripped it all down, cleaned it all up, replaced the insulating collars and obviously repaired the dry joint on the cable. As you can see at the back there, we've got some holes cut out with some fans in because this amp doesn't come standard with fans. It's a bit of an abortion, I don't know who done it. And to be honest, I think it's pathetic because the fans should really be underneath the tubes, blowing air up from underneath, straight through and out the top. Where they're located, the only valve getting any air is the one at the back. So the other two don't benefit much at all. So pretty pointless. And it obviously didn't work, which is why it's come to me. Because it's got too hot. The true thing is, does this amplifier now work? There's not many people like repairing these type of amps because uh, they can be a bit of a death trap. So over here we have my Yaesu FT990, which we're going to use to drive this amp to see if it's working. Now the Yaesu is set on 27.500 megs, we're on FM mode, output is set to 10 watts. So, let's have a look and see what we can get out of this amplifier. Now, over here we have the mic, we're going to key up. At the moment we're in standby mode, as you can see down there. We're going to flick this switch to operate. We're on AM mode, and let's see what happens. There we have nearly 300 watts. There we go. No problem. And again, this all seems to be functioning there. We're now going to put this onto SSB mode. Come over to the Yaesu. USB. A bit more power. Got up to about 20 watts PEP. Over to the Sitagi and see what we can get. Audio. 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 And there we go. We're peaking around about 350, just under 400 watts PEP. Valves still seem to be glowing quite nicely. No smoke, no flashes, nothing untoward. Let's have another go. Audio. 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 No problem, it seems to be functioning correctly. So oh, there we go, one Zitagi BV603, Def Trap mains amplifier, back to working order. Well, the Weasel 66 always tries his best, and once again, 
we've managed to repair something.